Hi Class 5, it's Mr. Salmon here. Now, I know you might think this is a little bit strange, me talking to you through a computer screen instead of being at the front of a classroom, but I've come on to tell you a few important messages. The first one is I hope you're staying happy, safe, healthy, at home, and listening to what the government is telling you about staying within your home and within your garden, and only going out unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay, the second one is just a big message saying that I miss you all, okay? It's difficult not coming into school every day. I want to come in, I want to see all your happy faces and hear about what you did at the weekend. And I just miss you all. And I hope that you miss your favorite teacher too. Okay, the third message is that we are gonna be uploading videos to this YouTube channel that you're on now every day. Now these videos are gonna be a mix of maths, maybe some literacy, creative lessons, spelling, and some spag. Okay, so you're gonna get a big mixture of all the things that we would be doing in school, but you're just gonna be doing it home, okay? So there's gonna be a new video every day for you to follow. And I thought that it would be a good idea to start with a creative lesson first, okay? So me and Mr. Orm were talking about what would be a good lesson to do at the minute with everything going on with the NHS and the pandemic and everything that's going on in the world. And a big and obvious one that stands out is the NHS and how much of a fantastic job they are doing. They always do a fantastic job, but right now the pressure is very, very high and they're still going in every day and it's absolutely amazing what they're doing, okay? So the rainbows that you see in people's houses, you might have seen them on the news, you might see them in business windows, is a celebration of the NHS. But I was thinking, what does the rainbow mean? Why a rainbow? And I think for me personally, it means there's good, there are dark times, there are hard times, but they're gonna get better, just like a rainbow. You know, it's raining, the weather might not be very nice, but at the end of it, there's sunshine, okay? And that happens in life. That happens in your life, it happens in my life. It's just making the best of a bad situation and right now we're not in a nice situation but it's looking at what good comes out of it so yes we're stuck at home we can't go out and do what we normally do but what makes it special what good can you take out of that situation so I thought a good creative task to do was to make our own rainbow and write the things that we are grateful for and thankful for even though we're at home we're still doing all these fun things and nice things, okay? I've done one personally, so I'm gonna go and get it, and then I'll show you what I mean and what my ideas are, okay? Two seconds. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back class five. I've made my rainbow, as you can see here. So, I have a whiteboard at home. You might have some paper and some pens. If you don't have a pen and paper or anything that you can fill it out on, it's totally fine just to think of it, or you can express your feelings with some of your brothers and sisters, aunties, uncles, whoever is in your household, mom, dad, whoever is in your household, you can share your ideas with if you don't have anything to write them down on. So, the first one that I have says, I'm grateful I can work in my garden. Yay, I love working in my garden. It's so, so nice, and now, I can do that. I'm stuck at home, but I'm looking at the best of the situation of what I can do. The second one, I do shopping for my neighbor and it feels good. So I do shopping for uh, an old lady who is my next door neighbor because she can't leave the house, okay? And it, it, it makes me feel good that I'm helping somebody else because they can't help themselves. Next one, I can drink lots and lots of coffee, okay? Those of you in year five know that I love a cup of coffee, so I can drink as much as I want right now. Next one, I'm thankful for more reading time. I love reading, but when I'm at school, I can't just get my book out and read in the middle of a lesson, otherwise I wouldn't be a very good teacher. But now, if I take a break for an hour or so, I can just read, and I love that. Next one, becoming better at juggling. 
So those of you in year five know that I've been practicing to juggle. I'm not 100% yet, but I'm practicing and I'm getting better and I'm grateful for that. The next one, no more 545 alarms, okay? I love getting up to come to school, but it's a bit nicer setting my alarm for maybe 845 instead of 545, okay? So if you wanna do this task yourself, I'd, I'd love for you to do that and just think of the things that make you happy, thankful and grateful through this difficult time, okay? Put that to one side. So I will see you tomorrow for the next lesson, okay? It's been great, bye.